I am Bear today and I will be showing you how I did my no makeup makeup challenge. No makeup makeup look. Okay. First, I prime my face using the Urban Decay Rebound. Actually, this is not the first time I filmed this because the camera wasn't working out and this is as close as I can get. Uh, so yeah, I actually primed my face before this, so prime your face thoroughly. Next, I'm gonna conceal these dark circles using the Maybelline Fit, Fit? <laughs> Fit Me Concealer by, yeah, by Maybelline. Like, I'm sorry guys, you're just gonna have to deal with this. And I can't see my... Not sponsored. Anyways, I'm not gonna be using this palette. I'm just gonna be using the mirror. Taking a damp beauty blender. Taking a damp beauty blender, I'm just gonna blend it out. So actually, what inspired this makeup look is that my parents, my sister, well not my sister, my sister likes me wearing like really thick makeup, like my grandparents, my dad, you know, they don't like people who wear makeup and they keep on complaining. Oh by the way, blend it up to the brow bone. They don't like people wearing makeup, right? So, I like wearing makeup. Like, for me, it's more into the art instead of like anything else. Anyway, so I concealed the dark under eyes and then I'm just gonna do more in my problematic areas because I have pimples, which I really don't know why it got there. Anyways. I'm sorry if this goes up. Can anything go wrong? I'm trying, I'm sorry. Okay. So I'm blending it out. For me, this is gonna be okay. I'm not gonna like highly conceal everything because it's gonna make it so obvious that you're doing makeup, but if you like to, you can just conceal more than I do. You can just layer it. I mean, it's a good concealer. You can layer stuff up and... Uh, so yeah, since this is gonna be a really, really, really natural makeup for me, I wouldn't be doing as much to my brows. I'll just be using an eyebrow gel and it's gonna be enough. So it's called Kill Brow by Cleo and I'm just gonna guys if it's horrible I mean like yeah I'll just not post this cuz I don't know I mean it's special cuz it's my first YouTube tutorial thingy but like I don't know I mean if it's terrible, who would want to watch it, you know? It's five minutes now and I have been talking away. I'm sorry, I mean... Uh, I'll just skip through it later. So the trick with this is... For me, at least, for my brow hair. Because the front part of my hair goes up and the rest goes down. So I like to just further comb it with this and then I just like comb up. And then I go straight back. Because if I do that, it's just going to match my real brows and it won't look fake. Yeah. This is Blush To Go by... Sephora, if I'm not mistaken, by Sephora. I heard like they have pretty good makeup lines. 
not like makeup lines, I mean like makeup products which people don't usually use because it's Sephora. People buy other brands in there. So yeah. I'm just gonna go really heavy with the blush because you can just blend it out. I like to just use my fingers to make it more natural. Be sure to not accidentally um, move the concealer around because then you're gonna have the black circles back. So yeah, moving on. Next, I will be contouring. And most people, well, makeup gurus. James Charles, I'm looking at you. You hate people contouring with like big brushes and you hate fan brushes specifically. I know I do do that now, like, yeah, anyways. But I actually really like using a fan brush. Sorry, not sorry. So I'll be using my contour palette from City Color. And I'll be using I'll be using this shade to go on my cheekbrows and everything. This is just bronzer and you can use it if you feel like you need to bronze your face. But since I'm not really using any foundation today, just concealer, I won't be using it. So I'm just gonna tap the edge, tap, 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 and then here's a trick, you sculpt it by just tapping it, like where you want it to go, see there's a line, you just tap it, and then you can blend it out later, so this is a trick for those, my fellow curvy girls out there, because I gain a couple of weight, don't judge me, I like food. So just tap, tap, tap. And this is gonna help further cut it, because if you don't, and you just like do that, it's just gonna enhance what you already have, and today I'm gonna make an illusion, so who cares? See, tap, tap, tap. See? I just lost 20 pounds. Next, I'm just going to take this, there's no name to this brush anyways, a small brush, and then I'm just going to blend it all out in a circular motion, outwards and up. See? Boom. Next. And it happens a lot to me when I blend too much, and it just goes away and it's not there you can just add more product I mean nobody would know <laughs> anyway let's hope you haven't clicked out anyways I have done my cheekbones here's a little trick if you want to make your face slimmer this is like mm -hmm. If you want to make your cheekbones go higher and your face goes mm, snatched, use that brush, take the color again, and put it on here. The temple, sort of, there, like above your eyebrows, and then just go crazy. See? It cuts. It's sort of like it cuts my face so it kind of makes it look like I have more of a diamond face shape kinda so I'm just gonna be doing the same thing here and just cut 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 there and then I blend it backward for the eyes I'm just gonna be taking the same contour palette in the same shade and with a big brush, take a really small amount, and then I'm gonna put it in my crease area, way down to my lid. See, it just adds a little color in there. Cause if you're using clothes like black, you know, like black clothes, 
you should really darken it up a little bit just to get a little definition so you don't look like a fishbowl anyways so I'm wearing black today if you're wearing white or if you're gonna wear white change the color to something a little bit more bright that makes sense and then yeah this is just to add definition if you add it a little too much you can just like wipe it away like that moving on this is my Becca con highlighter I almost said concealer I'm such a bad youtuber I'm a youtuber so yeah this is by far my favorite highlighter of all time this is Becca but wait this is Pearl by Becca yes yeah, so I'm just gonna use a contouring brush don't judge me and then I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna take a little amount and then I'm just gonna put it see see I'm glowing glow get that isn't it gorgeous Ooh. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then you can put it on your brow bone. I'm just gonna use the tip. The really tiny tip. Is it? And then I'm gonna put it on my brow bone. Just to get it shiny. There. And here's a little trick, if your eyes are still really dull and because lack of sleep, you know, people that still goes to school, exams, assignments, you know, you can just use your pinky, take a bit, well I like to take a lot because I'm extra, and then just put it at the inner corner of your eyes, bam. And you can even blend it up here a little bit and look at look I look alive alive if you want to go a little bit fancy well we're heading this way anyway you can shade your nose I like to just use my fingers because why not? So dab, dab, dab. Rub it around your fingers and then just. The smaller you want to make your nose, the smaller you want your nose to be. The closer these two lines should go. And I know it looks weird and it looks like I am having a flu. But it won't matter. Because the thing that is gonna really make it pop is again the highlight. So just take the highlight, use your little pinky because it's tiny, put it. I look like a beautiful reindeer and just. You can even put it down here, up here, at the cupid's bow, or if you're extra, me, I, you can just take that and put it up here for an extra glow. And you're done! You can add lipstick. If you want to just a little goes a long way this is I have no idea the color 52 from makeup forever and just dab <laughs> sorry dab just blend it with your fingers For that extra color.
I'm sorry, I'm not attractive and I do this. Anyways. So yeah, this is the finished makeup look and yeah. Most people when I wear this makeup look, they usually just say, you look glowy today, you look pretty today, did you sleep well, blah blah blah. So I hope it does the same for you. Anyways, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye! <laughs> How do I end this? Mm. Bye guys! Should I call you guys? I mean you're not guys. <laughs>